Hey guys, welcome back to Deep ID Tense Drip and Farm for Poverty. I'm your host, Drip Coach, dropping knowledge bombs on all Forex Shark related projects. So, in today's video, gonna be piggybacking off of the video that Ray from the Bartown Conglomerate did. So, shout out to Ray, definitely stealing his thunder. Like you said, you heard it there first, uh, but I'm going in a different route than what he mentioned. Uh, but basically, it's this video here, and I highly suggest you guys check this video out if you haven't already. Um, I know a lot of people watching my channel clearly watch his channel, but um, I just wanted to double down on this because it's very important. So it's about basically the potential for the animal farm. So this video here, I can't believe we missed this dog's crediting. And he even covers the details about uh, the dog's crediting process that Forex went over with uh, Brian Brandon from Drip Guide. But what I want to cover and we're going to break into is uh, what this actually means for Piggy Bank with some numbers that I ran up. So it's all speculative, but we can use this farm as a solid jump off location to get these numbers. So what am I talking about? Well, first off, we have over here uh, Poly MM Finance, uh, Mad Meerkat Finance, basically. Um, so they launched on Polygon about 30 days ago now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and the big thing to note, and this is what Ray pointed out in his video, is the volume, total volume being traded, right? So they have traded $1.27 billion um, in about 30 days. So uh, let me double check. Yeah, August 13th. So just under 30 days, coming up on 30 days. So um, $1.27 billion. And total value locked um, in this video, it's like 155. I think in raise, it was like 200 or something. So apparently they've uh, gone down a bit. But the point being is that when our farms were live, we had 700 million or so in total value locked. I don't know what our volume traded was. Now, uh, the reason I bring this up and what we're going to be getting into is remember, there's a lot more uh, game theory and mechanics on the new animal farm. And it's the only farm in crypto where you can be the owner of the farm and not have to sell the assets. And now, not only do you not have to sell the assets, you don't have to sell either of the assets, dogs and pigs. And there's a lot of the tax and loyalty score that goes into the dogs. But what I want to look at is um, the trading volume and what that represents in regards to pig pen uh, dividends. So it's not a one to one. Because once the farm goes live, remember there is a heavy tax on dogs. So a lot of the transaction volume we may not see because people may not be, well, definitely they won't be selling dogs, I don't expect, but they will possibly be getting into the farms. And as you see from the white paper, 60% of BUSD generated from the animal farm deposit fee are used for pig pen dividends. And uh, the other one is this one. Um, half of the 6% base tax, 3%, is sold for BUSD, and this BUSD is sent to the vault, which is used to pay out big pen stakers. So there is a lot of the capital being generated going to the pig pen holders. So that's the number I want to use, even though when we're looking at this Meerkat native asset trade volume, this is from... Um, them doing a uh, trading volume on their particular uh, native asset, right? So uh, this isn't, this is specific to the MM finance, MMF finance uh, token and the trading volume, you know, 12 million, 9 million, 22, blah, 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 59. So this is all based on just that one token that's not taking into effect the actual, um, volume going into the farms or the pools. But since I don't have that data and can't really pull that up from here, I'm just gonna speculate and use this as the number for simulating what that trading volume or incoming uh, volume would be for the pig, for the farm as a whole to come up with pig pen dividends. So again, it's not a one-to-one, -one, but it's not a far cry to believe that we will do a lot more than them because when you look at their um, tokenomics or their holders right now, I should say, they have less than 4,000 holders in the native asset. And uh, they have 75,000 token supply. 
when we look at our pigs, we have 5,000 holders and uh, similar token supply. Sorry, that's not it. This one. Um, 356,000. I think they had that 75 million. Oh, sorry, 75 million. <laughs> so um, obviously once the farm goes live, we will start generating a lot more pigs as well. And there will be a lot more pig pen holders, but <clears throat> this is just the pig pen. So that is not counting the actual total number of people that will be using the animal farm. We'll have a lot more volume because we had already at the start more volume than they did or currently having, so to speak. So they've been trading their total value lock like I think this high, the high that I saw from uh, Ray's um, video was like 250 million. Our high was like 450 million. So uh, we should be able to easily dwarf these numbers. But anyway, let's get into the numbers that I came up with and how I, and why or how I came up with them. So. <laughs> so basically, went here to take out their trading volume, the daily trading volume. And then I exported that to an Excel spreadsheet. And then I just took that data as saying that this is a representative of the 3% of the uh, BUSD that will be sent to the pig pen stakers. Remember this 3% comes specifically from the um, buy tax on the dogs or the, the buy and sell tax. 6% base tax on all transactions and 3% additional on selling. This does not, this number that I'm using, this number here, does not account for any of the actual uh, deposit fees that we would get, which is 60%. So this number is gonna be a lot, the numbers I'm showing you are a lot lower than what the actual pig pen daily rewards would actually be. But let's just take a look at it so that you can get an idea of what that looks like. So I just took their exact numbers and extracted them, right? So here's their total trading volume. And then I took that 3% that was represented from the um, white paper and said that that's being sent to the tax vault daily, right? And then I, over here, I have the running total of the tax vault because if that's sent on day one, um, so you have trading volume at 3%, 3% sent on day one, then on day two, you're gonna have 3% of this number and added, uh, I'm sorry, uh, this is what's being sent to the vault. So this is all of the actual trading volume. So this is a total trading volume here, then this will be 3% of that, and this is the running total volume. So it's basically adding these two together, right? So by the day 28 of this, roughly like day 27, there's 13 million in BUSD rewards in the pig pen vault, right? simulated, right? And every day, 3% of that is being paid out. And you can look at the numbers on DevStreak's calculator. You can see that here. So this is roughly 3%. It's like 0 0.29544 or something like that. And it changes, you know, based off of what this number is. But right now, there's only $61,000 in it. And that means every 24 hours, $1,800 is being sent out. And for me, with my 25 pigs, <clears throat> I get a whopping 17 cents per day from that. But... What does that look like once this scales up? So again, using smaller numbers than what we will more than likely get, this is gonna be 14 million and that gives us 3% of 14 million, gives us $417,000 in the pig pen vault. That is uh, being paid out daily in the pig pen. That is roughly seven times more than what we currently have. So we can speculate, this again is not exact, I'm just giving you guys some numbers, that I could basically be making a dollar and some change a day with 25 pigs. So I know that's nothing to call home about, but that's just showing you what's capable. Remember, that's what you're making, what I'd be making with 25 pigs without spending anything. This is just based off of the rewards. And this is the low end of the rewards. Because remember, this is only looking at what would be the equivalent of just our dog's token being bought and sold. But remember, the dog's token has the loyalty tax. So there's gonna be more buying than selling of the dogs and people will be staking the dogs and a portion of that's gonna be going to pay out BNB &B rewards. Then we have all of the other pools. So uh, what they have on their farm 
is similar to what we have, but I think we have a much better layout once this gets done with the new uh, version three. Um, you have the ability to basically stake in their farms and pools and earn various yields. I don't know any of fixer UI because that should not stay there like that. Um, Taking a while to show up. So it yeah, earned various yields on uh, when you put your assets in here. So wrap BTC with USDC, wrap ETH with USDC, so yada, 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 right? So this is where a lot of additional daily volume will come from. And as the white paper shows, 60% of this initial deposit that goes in here will also go to Pigpen. So the number that I'm showing you guys is on the very, very low end, not only because it's only representative of one asset, but also because it um, is on a relatively new farm and on a uh, layer two that gets less traffic than Binance and with an amount that is less than what we were doing at our peak. So there's a lot of variable wow this is horrible like not go away um a lot of things that affect this payout to make this a lot more bullish for us trying to get this to go away but it's not so go back to the excel spreadsheet um that make this a lot more bullish for us when we go live so these numbers will get blown out of the water by multitudes uh because i see our trading volume being a lot higher than this maybe this is what we will be seeing on a daily basis so somewhere to 50 to 100 million in trading volume that could be done on the farm, especially with the marketing and bringing eyeballs over to Drip and it becoming the number one farm in uh, on the Binance Smart Chain. Let me pull that up trading volume on PancakeSwap. Let's see what they got. All right. So PancakeSwap's trading volume is 24 hour trading volume. Most recent was about 160 million, 154 million. Um, so yeah, we're not going to do those numbers right out the gate. But as Forex mentioned, it does have the potential to dethrone PancakeSwap because um, all of the staking done on our front end goes back to PancakeSwap anyway. Now granted, PancakeSwap will have more diversity, more pools and exchange uh, tokens that they can do. But for the major assets, it's uh, kind of a double win to stake on our platform, still get the yield from Cake and then never have to sell the assets and get paid out dividends while you're getting staked there. So 160 million, so we can just safely say that at least half of that would come over. So that means numbers would be uh, similar. Their highest they had, trading volume looks like a 60. So I would say we could be able to do this realistically on a daily. And that means that we would be sending 319 uh, that's cumulative, uh, 10 million. I'd have to run the numbers again. Yep. So about $53,000 per day being sent to the piggy bank and that's cumulative, uh, being paid out, sorry, uh, to the piggy bank cumulative rewards. So, um, I didn't do the math on this correctly. There we go, so that's fixed. So that can mean basically after 30 days could have $1.6 million in BUSD rewards being paid out daily to pigpen holders. So that takes this number here, multiplies it by what, uh, 100, 1,000? Yeah. Yeah, so that would be 1,000 uh, X on the return. So um, that would give me a lot more money in this <laughs> per day if we were generating that kind of yield daily uh, with 25 pigs staked. My dog is barking at the kids again, I think. So the, the point I'm getting at in this video is that the possibilities for what Forex is building is extremely, extremely uh, profound in the space. Sorry, I had to pause the video and I got confused. So anyway, so yeah, if we were getting those kind of numbers, which uh, seems possible, and granted, the thing that I didn't mention that um, changes the game quite a bit is right now my 25 pigs have this percent of the contract. 
uh, the pigs contract, uh, basically the pigs tokens, will continue to mint as more new pigs are being created for people that are uh, farming pigs. So obviously this is not a one-to-one -one that I would get this uh, with this 25 stake pigs. But if we're just looking at numbers and it were to just 1000 X from here, then my 25 pigs would give me basically 175, $170 a day. Now, again, I'm telling you that's not going to stay that way, but I just want you guys to see the possibilities of, again, what Forex is creating and why getting into pigs is the play and not having to sell your assets. So us being able to generate uh, 60 million in trading volume per day and 3% and of that being 53,000 a day being sent to, I'm sorry, 3% up 3% being sent to the pig pen as dividends daily is not a far cry. Again, looking at realistic numbers from what Meerkat Finance is doing and what PancakeSwap currently does, we should be somewhere in between those two based on sheer numbers. That's just logical math. And as this continues to grow and scale with all the other stuff that Forex is doing, there's no reason why we should not be able to dwarf these numbers and why, again, the pig token um, is gonna be extremely attractive. Not just the pigs, but the dogs as well, because remember now there's more utility for the dogs and holding the dogs and uh, not just doing what they do on these other farms, which is just get the native asset and dump it on the market. That's why there's a lot of trading volume done on that. But what will happen with us is people will be uh, playing the dog's game, using the dogs uh, to farm as well, paid out BUSD from the loyalty, uh, not loyalty, the uh, auto compounding pool. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of game theory built on top of this. So anyway, I've segued quite a bit in here, so I just uh, wanted to, one, again, give a shout out to Ray from Watertown for dropping that little alpha about Meerkat Finance and then giving you guys some insight as to how bullish this farm can actually be and what the play is and how I believe uh, Drip BUSD, the garden specifically, is the go-to. I'm going to actually do another video because I believe that is the singular best play right now before I mentioned and everybody else mentions that you need to build your drip faucet, I'm actually thinking um, that's not the play right now, <laughs> but I'll discuss that in another video. Still bullish on drip, but I just think that the play is the, the drip guard due to the mechanics of the farm and all the marketing going to the farm. When the attention gets back to drip and the layer two contract, the new UI and scratchy is all launched, then I think getting into drip Typically is the play, but I believe all the new eyeballs are going to land themselves on the garden because that's going to look the most attractive access to the entire farm. So anyway, I'll save that for another video. All right, please like, subscribe, still pushing 3K subscribers, and until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible.